Good morning everybody, this is Tom from Outdoor Alchemy. I just wanted to take a very few quick minutes and show you some spoons and a fork that I've been carving. I've carved most of them over the last year. Okay, this first one, um, you'll notice has a long handle. I made this specifically for eating out of the backpack meals that you heat up in the envelope and eat right out of the envelope. At least that's how I eat them. Um, of course, this is my carving knife that I use for the spoon part. Um, I tried to get some contrasting colors. I got the heartwood and, and then I got the other wood there. This is made out of a piece of cottonwood. Um, got a pretty thin spoon part there. Um, this is a very usable spoon. Like all my spoons, it's finished in olive oil and uh, you just occasionally have to rub, hand rub it in and treat it again. So that's that. This one's kind of a character spoon. I believe it's made out of aspen wood. Um, I chose it just for the challenge of it. As you can see, it's crooked. The piece I started with was crooked. Um, it also has kind of a dip here in the handle which made it look cool so I chose it to use. It's got some knots in it. Also once again you got heartwood and then some of the outer wood which made it look pretty cool I think. Um, one defect with it is it's got this knot here that's kind of exposed but uh, that's alright and you can see it goes through the other side but really pretty wood grain patterns on it next is my one and only fork and I believe it is also I think it's cottonwood um, I hadn't tried a fork I wanted to try a fork I look at it now and I see it's a little thick. I mean I could take a knife to it and work it down right now but uh, it was my first attempt and only attempt at a fork but it's got really beautiful wood grain to it. Um, the actual fork prongs themselves what I used was a hacksaw blade to get down in there and then a lot of sandpaper. Um, I tried to get a sharp tip on there but as I can as I say this is a little thick in here but it's a usable fork and it's kind of funny my most delicate most refined spoon yet really is the one I made yesterday out of a k-bar or not out of a k-bar knife but with a k-bar knife I did not use a carving knife at all um, I have another video out on that, but it's actually my most delicate spoon and uh, made it with a K-bar knife. As you can see, I got a pretty long handle on it, so I might be able to use it with the backpack meals. Anyway, that's, I just had to swat a mosquito, they're getting pretty pesky. Those are the spoons I've carved. I wanted to give a shout out to some fellow YouTubers. Um, Dave from High Carbon Steel. High Carbon Steel Love. Um, he's been making a lot of cool videos. He's been making videos on Mora knives. Um, which finally got me to buy a Mora knife. And I really enjoy it. Um, if you're into bushcraft and you're into history. Billy Rue has a channel. Billy Rue. It's... I or R I O U X. Um, he has some really great videos. Um, let's see, there's Al Arsenault. He makes knife videos. He's very knowledgeable in what he's doing. And I'm trying to find it here. Another one that I've been watching quite a bit lately. I 
can't see it, but I believe it's My Boy Blue. Does that sound right? I'll put it down in the comments of this video. But he's been doing knife videos, and he's very knowledgeable in them. And the videos are quite interesting and entertaining. Um, yeah, so anyway, I better let you go. I said I'd make a short video, and I'm letting it get too long here. So I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it'll inspire you to go out and do a little carving yourself. I'm getting ready for a family canoe trip, so... Hope you have a great weekend. Take care. Thank you. If you liked the video, click like. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you checking it out. You're My Boy Blue. That's the guy's name that has a great channel about knives. He knows what he's doing. Anyway, check those channels out. Keep watching my videos. And have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.